tonight. Drew Brees can also join the club. He's four TD passes away. Brady is in his 19th season. Brees is in his 18th. Right now, Peyton Manning and Brett Favre are the only quarterbacks in history with 500 touchdown passes. Shannon, which QB has more, has been more impressive on their road to 500? This is the, the classic, which is heavier, a ton of <laughs> bricks or a ton of feathers. So in this situation, Skip Bettis, I'm going to take the ton of feathers and I'm going to say Drew Brees. Mm. Because I think Drew Brees, if you look at his completion percentage, is higher than Brady's yards per attempt, more 4,000-yard passing seasons, more 5,000-yard passing seasons. He's done it in two different cities, uh, three different offenses. And New Orleans, to so contrary to what people think, yeah, New, New England was not what New England is now. But New England had gone to two Super Bowls before Tom Brady got there. They were a pretty good team. Coach Parcells, you know, when he left, he left them in pretty good shape. Now, Coach uh, uh, Belichick came in and rebuilt the whole thing. But I'm going to go Breeze. But, and when you look at Tom Brady, Tom Brady has never had a scoring defense worse than 17th. Drew Brees has 10 defenses worse than that. He has eight scoring defenses worse than 25th. And so this is why Breeze has more interceptions than Tom Brady. Uh, Brady has three pro, pro Bowl receivers. Wes Welker went to five Pro Bowls, Skip Bailey. Did you know that? In his six years in New England, he went to five Pro Bowls. Mm -hmm. Randy Moss went to a Pro Bowl. Mm -hmm. And uh, Troy Brown went to a Pro Bowl. Mm -hmm. One time early, first year. Well, what, let's see. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever. I did not ask Skip anything. I'm reclaiming my time because I just hey. got to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Bates. I do not interrupt you when you're talking. Uh, I am uh, very courteous. <clears throat> I'm very respectful. <clears throat> but you constantly do this to me, and I wish you'd stop it. Drew mm -hmm. <laughs> Reed had... Who has one Pro Bowl receiver in his yep. career, and that was Michael Thomas last year. Mm -hmm. uh, Breeze had Antonio Gates and Jimmy Graham. They both went to Pro Bowls, and Tom Brady has Gronk. So, Skip, this is a very tough one. Um, I know where you're going with this, but I think when you look at how Breeze did it, coming back from a 10% chance of playing, mm -hmm. once he ruptured his shoulder, mm -hmm. uh, we all remember last game of the season when John Lynch, he tried to recover a fumble, and John Lynch dove into the pile, and Drew Breeze's arm was... I don't even want to talk about how it looked. Mm -hmm. And he only had like a 10 to 20% chance of ever throwing the football again. Mm. And to come back and do what he's done, um, for me, I think that's the most impressive mm. on the way to 500. Mm. Is that all you got? That's all I got. Wow, that's not a lot, man. I was a little meager, but that's Con okay. Concise. So to me, <clears throat> this question is so not even close because it's Tom Brady that it's offensive to Tom Brady to even put Stop him in the talking same, about stuff offensive to Tom. same sentence with Drew Brees when it comes to 500 touchdown passes. Because let's start from the very start. Drew Brees came out of a passing attack at Purdue that was built completely around him. So he was much farther along as a passer because in college, Drew Brees attempted 1,040 more passes than Tom Brady was able to attempt as he shared the position at Michigan. So think about how much farther along Drew Brees was, which is why he was the 32nd overall pick. Not bad, it was the, 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 at that point the first pick first in the pick second the round. round, but still 32nd overall. Tom Brady went 199th overall one year before Drew Brees. So Drew Brees came in the much more accomplished thrower than Tom Brady was. And yet, over this time that these two have been in this league, as they both go, they head toward 500 touchdown passes, Drew Brees has attempted 515 more passes than Tom Brady in his career. Think about that. 515 is like an entire season more than Tom Brady mm -hmm. has had in attempts, just in attempts. And to, to frame it even better, Tom Brady's most attempts in a season would rank eighth among Drew Brees' attempts for a season. Mm -hmm. So so that's the, the huge discrepancy is that Drew Brees has just had so many more chances to throw touchdown passes than Tom Brady has. And Drew Brees has had the huge advantage of having gotten to play for a Sean Payton for 13 years. And Sean Payton, as we know, is a rambling, gambling, high risk, high reward play caller who will try take any shot from any point on the field to, to get the ball in the end zone. Am I right about You're that? Right. And obviously Tom Brady has been forced to play for an- Oh, uh, do you don't do, do that, Skip. I, you tried to sneak that in there. Uh, you tried to be, he forced. He was forced? Wait, was I speaking? 
Mm-hmm. I, no, because I'm not gonna let you sneak that in there. Mm-hmm. Talk about he was forced to Wait, play for Coach Belichick. Do I get to reclaim my time, or does you the, may. You the, may. the moderator is actually <laughs> a teammate of my opponent? What happened right? to being nice today? Yeah, well, I don't know because you did not jump in the way you did on me and say, "No, stop it." You should have told him to stop it. <laughs> I'm gonna right? do my job. You do yours. No. So, yep. Meanwhile, Tom Brady has been forced to play with an old school, defensive minded, defensive focused head coach and Bill Belichick, yes. who has little to nothing to do with the offense and would probably prefer to run it instead of throw it in most cases. And some some games, he's taken the ball completely out of Tom Brady's hands and put it in the running back's hands. Am I right about I that? That served him well. Okay. I, I'm not, we're not talking about winning and losing. We're just talking about the the achievement of getting to 500 touchdown passes, okay. right? But let so me one guy's thrown it 515 more times than the other guy. I I think it would be big advantage Tom Brady. Do you think scoring defense and defense it, in it general just doesn't it? matter? It's just ten. Okay. If you're down, if okay, you're down, you're gonna have to throw the ball. Okay, but then you get to throw the ball when you're down. I can make a case that the worst defense is actually the biggest advantage because you get to just go bombs away. If you're behind by three touchdowns, you just get to wing it. Just because you're behind. How many times did Tom? Brady get up 38 to 7 and they had and they, they took the ball. No, and they were still they going. Were not Skip, going. You know Coach, Coach Belichick does not call the dogs uh, on. I don't know. How many times have you seen Tom Brady go out of the ball game? They play into mm. the very end because they stat everybody, Skip, everybody's stat chasing now. Everybody is. You know, and the rules are uh, the rules are set up mm. so the quarterbacks and the offense have an mm. advantage. I guess it's the LeBron factor. Everybody said, right? It, it rubbed off to the NFL. Can we not talk? We, <laughs> I don't know. You asked for it. I, no, I didn't ask, I didn't ask you about it. Everybody's about it. stat chasing. Yes, oh, yeah. every, everybody. He set the tone. But, Skip, score in co- – hold on. Tom Brady, it was in a report that Tom Brady said that Aaron Rodgers been in New England with that defense oh, of philosophy and Ackman. Tom Brady's the nicest guy ever. So not He's Tom just about, always Are you calling right Tom thing. Brady a liar on national mm-hmm. television? Yep, I am on that one. I'm calling his bluff on that one. Skip. And by the way, over this time, this span of almost 500 and almost 500, yes. <clears throat> Breeze has thrown 64 more interceptions over that span than Tom Brady. 64? Think about that. That's a lot of interceptions. So as they both rise toward 500, Wynn has had 515 more attempts, and yet he's thrown 64 more interceptions, which tells you he can just go for broke. He's got the greenest light in pro football. Yeah, when you're he down, can just wing it. Skip, when you're high down, risk, high reward. But just you, throw it, look baby. At, Skip, look at where his defense is now. Mm-hmm. Look at the defenses that hey, again, I think that's making my case. Actually. No, it's not, Skip. Mm-hmm. He has to take – that's what – yeah, granted, that's why his interception rate is up because you're going to have to take risk. You can't just check the ball down mm. and like, okay, yeah, we're down 14, we're down 21, and so we're just going to take flat routes. We're going to take mm. rim routes. You can't do that. You have to push the ball down the field. Mm. So in the, in the attempt of pushing the ball down the field, yes, he's throwing the ball basically the equivalent of a season more. Mm. And if you throw the ball, it's hard. So are you telling me Tom Brady will not throw another interception this year? Well, what's that have to do with this Because I'm trying to, because he's going to have more interceptions oh. if he's thrown the equivalent of five, uh, uh, a season worth of pass attempts. Mm. I would like to think he'd have more. Mm. Now, we're going to have this argument in about five years, mm-hmm. about 500 touchdowns, mm-hmm. about you know who up in Green Bay. Mm. Now, he might have 500 touchdowns and fewer than 100 INT. He might. He might. But but that's not this discussion. Drew Brees. Yeah. Drew Brees. What about them 5,000-yard passing season? We going to do anything about them? Well, I mean, th- that's tremendous, but we're just talking about getting to 500 touchdowns, right? What about the man arm? You want, you, want to, you want to start on postseason? No. Because don't get me started on the postseason, but I'm, I'm but, eliminating but me, that because that me, doesn't factor hey, into this exactly. at all. Exactly. So what about what about the man's shoulder? He, he, couldn't, he couldn't even you, – you saw his shoulder when you walked up. What about Tom Brady's knee? It got tore up. Now we lost seen, a whole year. John Elway played his entire mm. career without an ACL. Mm. There are a lot of guys. Peyton Manning mm-hmm. played with a knee break. How well, many guys? I, you know what? I shoulder? think Drew Brees' shoulders just fine. It, yeah, it is. Now. I think it's been for the last 13 years under Sean Payton. I, I don't see any issue. That's what makes the feat so impressive. Mm. Is because it, it wasn't fine. Mm. Mm. And then my favorite all-time stat about Tom Brady is. He's thrown touchdown passes to 70 different receivers, which shows you their receiving core is just revolving door, just replaceable cogs. They just keep moving them in, yeah. when you cutting play. them. Move them in, cut them. Move when them in, cut them. It doesn't matter. Skip. Cogs. When you play that, 19. By the way, that, that ties Vinny Testaverde for the all-time record of throwing to different And, and, why, and why would that tie Vinny Testaverde? Can you tell the people that what Vinny Testaverde and uh, Tom Brady have in common? Nothing. 
that I know One of. guy played 20 years, the other guy's at 19. So when you play that many years, you're going to have a bunch of teammates, mm. especially on the offensive side, Skip how, Bayless. How many teams did Vinny play for? I lost count. It Vinny played for like seven, seven maybe seven. seven right? I know he played for the Jets, yeah. Tampa Bay, yeah. Cleveland. Yeah, just kept on. New going, England. Right? Yeah, so yeah. he played for a bunch of teams. So Tom Brady's played for one, two, three. No, one. He's played for one team. Wow. So, so let me ask you a question. Whose coach can just whack receivers? So which just, team, oh, get another guy. Which, which, get another guy. Which teammate Which teammate has he had for all 19 of those years? Hmm. Which teammate? Yeah. Nobody. Exactly. Yeah. That's my point. Yeah. So guys will keep coming oh. and keep going. Well, but you know how I feel about it, the receiving core. It's just a bunch of guys. He's had a Gronk, and he had a Wes Excuse Welker, me. and he had Randy Moss for a brief highlight. Whoa, whoa, moment. whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. They're just a bunch of guys, mm -hmm. and he wins. So now that he's losing... Now, all of a sudden, it's the receiver's fault. Wait, they're not losing. They're the same bunch. Of, they're two and two. They're two and two. They're the same bunch of guys. Uh, is that, the same, is that the, below 500? The I same guess. bunch of guys that helped them get mm -hmm. that 500 touchdowns. Yep. Those same guys that helped them get those Super Bowl wins. Now, all of a sudden, he's struggling a little bit. I didn't the say receivers are terrible, yeah. Jenny. You see how he did mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to let you do it, Skip. Well, Edelman's back tonight, and it sounds like Josh Gordon is emerging, and I think Tom Brady's good to go. They're playing... First of all, no T.Y. Hilton, mm -hmm. no Doyle to tight end, okay. no starting running back. So they got three starters out. Yeah. Okay, so you're going out on a limb talking about, oh, Tom Brady's back. And the deep, when was the last time the Colts had a good defense? Mm. That Super Bowl year? Mm. That was in 06. Mm. Skip, that was so, so, so very long ago. Mm. 500 touchdowns. Whew. Drew right there. Can you believe it? Drew is right there. Yeah, he should have been. Drew should be at 600 by now. <laughs> Seriously. Don't that many more attempts? Don't do that. Come on. Don't do that. Come on. Don't do it. If you'd let Brady throw 550 well, Brady, more, we'd be talking about Actually, Brady should be there because mm. he's been in the, uh, the league a year longer. Mm. That is a good point. Mm. Good. I, I think it's a, a ridiculous point. Oh, Why? So we'll see, we'll see next year when, when, when Breeze is at Seriously, if Tom Brady had 550 more attempts, how many more touchdowns do you think he'd have? Well, if he just he'd started. He'd 600. If he just started, no, he wouldn't have. He so, he, so are you telling me he'd have thrown uh, 60 touchdowns? Yeah. In a season. Well, no, he'd have 100. If he had 515 more attempts. That's a season. Well, for Drew Brees, it is, not for Tom Brady. You know what, Skill Bayless. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> well, I, I can't help it. I backed you into another corner, but that's okay. Put it like this here. When Peyton Manning threw those 55 touchdowns, he had something around probably 600 attempts. So are you trying to tell me that Tom Brady would throw 70 touchdowns and 515 attempts? Mm, I don't know. 515, he'd throw 50 touchdowns. You don't think He's so? He's only thrown 50 once. And how many attempts did he have? And he's never had a season like that again. Well, Drew Reed has 5,000 yard season like. So, did I convince you that that Brady? No, that, that absolutely should, not. Brady shouldn't even be in the same sentence. Stop! With this. Stop! You know what? Why? Because of the attempts and the interceptions. It's just, it's ridiculous. No, it's not. Yeah. Brees is so underrated, and it's the only thing that Drew Brees, the only fault that problem that Drew Brees has is that he played in the era smack dab. He got Manning, he got Brady, and then he got Rodgers putting up these, these you know, unbelievable, mm -hmm. ridiculous numbers. Yep. That's his problem, Skip. Mm. And that's what happens. If you played in the 80s, unless you like, you know, and it was like late 80s when Michael mm. started getting some credit. If you played in the 80s, Skip, you, it was Magic and, and, Mike, Magic and uh, Bird. Mm. It was other great players in the 80s. Yep. Ewing and, and, and Elijah Wan and, and uh, Isaiah. But they don't, you don't even, they don't even get mentioned mm. because you played with who? Mm. And so quarterbacks, if you played in the, the Brady, Manning, mm -hmm. the man got five, 5,000 yard passing season. Mm. And we, he like, he's like the third best. Think about that, third best. Mm. He's really good. He's great. He he's ain't no, no good. He he's no great. Ready. He great. Mm. Stop it. Mm. Rogers. Mm. Well, let's move on to a, a new quarterback mm -hmm. who has a very uh, promising future potentially, mm. and everyone is talking <laughs> about him, including Jags coach Doug Marone.